Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. August the 12th, 2024. And I think it's Monday. What? It is Monday? What? I know people are probably thinking, wow, it's fantastic. This is a fantastic day. It's Monday. You know what I mean? Anyway, I thought I'd come on through. I just finished having me some breakfast. So I don't want to have no breadcrumbs all over my face. <clears throat> You know, and drinking me something. Ah, that's some green tea. So, uh, I just want to come on through and uh, talk about something that's um, um, that I'm sensing and picking up um, with people uh, looking for, you know, that that right match of. Uh, possibilities to get the ball rolling you know it's so important to get the ball rolling a lot of us are spinning we're just spinning 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 and I have done so much over throughout the course of my life especially during my development of my consciousness you know, just to, and which means the development of my life. I had to get myself out of the spin, the spin cycle, the spin cycle, the spin cycle. And I know uh, there there's a metaphor to that uh, that I don't want people to get confused about. Because yes, there's there's formulas to everything, right? There's steps to you know to to, to prepare a, a pot of coffee. Or prepare, to prepare a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Those are steps that that you need in to, in order to get the results you want. You know, I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So that means I need peanut butter and jelly and some bread and blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of us are, that are in a spin. And it's taking us away from... Uh, getting the results we need and the results that we want because we just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. And that happens to all of us. No matter what anyone tells you, that happens to all of us. We get ourselves in a spin and then we attempt to get out and it's almost next to impossible and sometimes dangerous because a lot of people have uh, put their lives in that spin you know what I mean they're in a spin that they can't get out and like I said it's dangerous to get out because they've made themselves so dependent on being in a spin does that make any sense I hope it does let me set this up okay all right so we are all given these certain formulas as to how to be successful everybody is saying the same things and spinning and spinning and spinning and this has been going on for for decades upon decades okay so don't feel as though uh you know that if you're in it that is something that you've done no you just got yourself caught up in it just like everybody else has myself included um i decided back in my my, my 20s actually to start developing myself, you know, I was not happy with the results I saw around me. I wasn't happy with some of the um, the the, the, uh, the factors of my um, generation. I wasn't too happy. I, you know, I, in other words, I wanted something different. I wanted something more. So that meant that I had to work my way out of a certain, you know, getting married. See, for me. I was not about to be, uh, well, so let me just stop here. At one point, I had that same kind of thinking mentality. Let's get married, have children, and live happily ever after. Okay? I mean, all of us, for at some point in our lives, if we're being honest, have been indoctrinated to believe that. That life is about, especially being a female, you know, you need to be concerned about getting married, taking care of your husband and kids. Now, at first, in the beginning, when I when I heard that, 
being told to me. I was like, okay. And at one point I did say, yes, I want to have six kids and blah, 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 and this and that and the other. But then something deep within me was, it's almost like were, it was something deep within me tapping on my shoulder and saying, no, there's something more going on. And there's something more that you need to discover and figure out and this and that and the other. So through a series of events, you know, I realized, you know, and I think this was in my early 30s. Okay, um, I don't want just to be married and having children and you know, taking care of the husband, so to speak, kind of thing. You know, the, the type of relationship that my parents modeled for me. I realized that, that wasn't for me. Okay, there was, no, I thought my parent. I, you know, I have no issues with how my parents developed themselves and, and modeled their lives for all of us. Well, I'm so thankful for is the fact that my parents were, they allowed us to kind of, you know, you, you need to figure it out on your own. And you have to understand with that kind of generation, see, they come from that type of generation where, you know, it's about getting married, having children, buying a house. That's not my reality. And, and to be honest with you, that was a fallacy anyway. Okay, because very rarely can people... Do, uh, so in other words, that model worked then, that that, that, uh, that pathway worked then, but that pathway does not work now at all. Okay, you barely... Know, you barely... Barely people want to be married. Whether it doesn't matter their their lifestyle uh, preference, you know who they, you know how they identify themselves, you know, and some are re rethinking, uh, which is a positive thing about children, and blah blah blah. So in other words, there are certain things that have expired and no longer relevant, and we have to accept that if we choose to. But everything is internal. And you have to listen to what you're being told internally. What is, you know, what do I want and what do I need? So, and I put out plenty of videos on that. So, I'm getting up this morning to say this. You know, and I'm going to continue to say it, that it isn't business as usual. A lot of people are attempting to work on uh, uh, failed uh, blueprints. And I told you what failures are. Failures are opportunities, Okay. Um, so a lot of people continue to work in, to use failed blueprints. Okay. And we always want to talk about our ancestors. I told you our ancestors, a lot of them are the reason why we're at this peril of our existence now. Now, am I going to go out and, and blame them? You know, that, that's, that's illogical. Okay. It was failed because it required more development. We need, we need to upgrade our blueprints, okay? Even though someone famous may have said something, that was a different time and place, okay? So, it's no longer business as usual. And until people snap out of it, all you're going to do is stay in the spin. Spin, 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 and you're going you're gonna to be there forever, and I mean that. I mean that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. You're just going to be spinning, 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 ruminating, 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 overthinking, 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 uh, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, regurgitating, regurg you know, the same kind of factors that keep you stagnant and stuck. Okay? Our ancestors made a lot of mistakes. They made a lot of mistakes. But instead of blaming them, what can we learn and how can we get ourselves out of that spin? A lot of their philosophies do not exist, have expired. A lot of people cannot accept the fact that Einstein, his philosophies, his, his work expired. It went nowhere and no scientist is going to admit that because that means what? That means they're going to have to get, get to work. And, but, but a lot of people like to stay on the spin because like I said, it's a spin cycle. There's no thinking involved. There's no thinking involved. And the formulas just, the, the, and they know, uh, there's some that know the formula doesn't work. That's why I ask you, 
what is the difference between a, a, a Ponzi scheme, okay, a pyramid scheme, and return on investments? Okay, that's something you need to ask yourself. And no one has to know that as you are attempting to cultivate whatever you're attempting to cultivate. I am attempting to cultivate, I told you, my foundation. You know, whereas I'm helping people. But everybody is claiming that they are helping people. But most people are helping themselves. I figure, I'm figuring that out. I'm figuring out that some know that their formulas and their, their strategies and their um, uh, philosophies, uh, you know, uh, their theories and opinions, you know, uh, which, which is separate. But a, a lot of people know that they're just spinning crap. Okay, they know that what they are attempting to uh, model for people is nothing more, nothing less than crap. Okay, they know that it had it's failed. It had failed 20, 30 years ago, possibly. But they just keep regurgitating it, regurgitating. And what, and then, you know, it's, a, it's that it's that metaphor coming back from the dead, back from the dead. You know, that's that's what a lot of people are doing. They're just revisiting the same. Uh, spin over and over and over, just spinning, 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 and not moving. Okay. And what they're attempted to do is kind of put band aids. You know, instead of instead of being very honest with yourselves and, and say, "Look, you know what? I know he meant well, or I knew she meant well, but that is no longer relevant to our current reality." Okay. And I can just put my mom this. Just do do a quick, um, you know, like my like I said, well, my mom she was she was raised that you know you need to be married and you need to have kids and you know okay okay that happened and that happened for her she helped and modeled and she modeled for us what it means to be responsible and accountable along with my dad you know we lived in a I I thought our culture was. Uh, a thriving culture. Well, it was. There's no doubt about our culture. Our culture, our black culture, was a thriving, uh, uh, with challenges just like any other culture. I've put plenty of videos out on that. Okay, it's time for people to just kind of snap out of it and realize you cannot go back to yesterday. And we have beautiful songs. You know, uh, someone put a post out uh, the other day about. I mean, if you think about the music that was playing back, back say, in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s, and maybe some, maybe, you know, and then 80s, and then some in the 90s, you could tell in the 90s, in the middle, mid, middle 90s, something was changing about the music. You know, it was a, it, 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 there was a big, big change. And that is because of the, of the might of our thoughts, how we're thinking. But when you think about the music and the lyrics, like I said, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and then, you know, part of the 90s, I mean, it was so inspiring. The, like, I'll go back, you know, because I was, I was replying my own lyrics <laughs> to songs back in the day. <laughs> you know, I was just making up my own lyrics to things. But then when I would go back and, and read some of the lyrics of some of these songs, I was like, Oh my goodness, how powerful, how inspirational, you know, and how um, elevating, you know, it, it, I mean, it was, it was, it, it was, I mean, I just, you know, so that's, that's where my, that's where my favorite music is anyway, you know, especially uh, the, like the 60s and 70s, you know, and, so, and like I said, some in the 80s, but it's just, it's just something about that period of time that uh, was an opening that so many of us missed. It was an opening to elevate out of a certain spin and, and bring in fresh ideas, fresh information, fresh thinking. But a lot of it was also infiltrated and manipulated and deceived as well by other elements. And so, unfortunately and sadly, those elements um, were able to create a massive amount of negativity that s surrounds this planet. And I've said a lot about that as well, where it's affecting all of our consciousness, whether we want to admit it or not. 
you know, why there's the why we have this certain degeneracy, you know, of um, of the male and the female. This um, is like a um, instead of evolving, we are devolving. Okay, a, a lot of us are, billions of us are. So it's just going to be a few that are going to manage to get up, get their head above water, and see how they can help save a humanity but until we take the mask off and realize that you are and you have been indoctrinated it starts there it starts with me accepting okay this is what has happened to me how do I get out of it and for me meditation helped me get out of it because it made me focus it made me grounded it made me realize what my reality is. You know, The Matrix was a movie. And as far as I know, uh, that concept from The Matrix, there was, a, there was some fights over that it was stolen. You know, it was stolen from a, a, you know, from a creative type person, you know. And so that happens all the time, unfortunately. And I don't see how that's going to ever change as long because we've uh, unleashed artificial intelligence. And that's what artificial intelligence does. It just steals material and cultivates something else. There's a lot of, you know, but remember, artificial intelligence is neutral. It's the hands that feed it to where it can be positive or negative. I see it at a dangerous point myself because a lot of people do not know how to operate neutrally. It's always one extreme or another. So, again, I'm teaching myself I, because I am teachable. I'm, I, you know, I, I um, elicit the services of people that I pay. I elicit the service of people that are, are giving me information free. And nothing's free. Okay, remember that. Uh, also remember that it is difficult. Despite what anyone says, a lot of people say, oh, it's so easy. I mean, a lot of it is, that, that's a lot of bullshit. And a lot of people are rambling and lying to you. Okay. And you have to consider, you know, the people that you're listening to. I listen to a lot of people. I monitor a lot. I really enjoy, um, you know, understanding what is really going on. I actually enjoy that because I want to get to the bottom of things. I want to know, okay, why is this person this way? And how can I help to avoid creating more like that? Narcissistic, you know, evil intentions, hatefulness, hateful rhetoric, you know, degeneracy, you know, sexual perversion, you know, all of that, you know, is kind of swirling in that same spin. And that's why I said so many so many people are are trapped in it you know there you know you have the set you know and there's plenty of spheres that a lot of people are trapped in to believe it or not uh, not only the social media platform is a sphere of itself they're in a sphere of their beliefs they're in a sphere sphere of this and the sphere of that so like I said it's like we are a whole a, a, a large balloon and there's circles of us in each you know that that fills that balloon but at some point that balloon is going to that balloon is going to burst it's going to explode or implode however you want to see it and a lot of people are just going to be be dangling you know just dangling barely holding on barely surviving literally figuratively metaphorically so i'm uh, again i'm taking a lot of courses um, I, I talk to uh, people to get information on, um, you know, how to uh, uh, develop myself properly as a, a as a um, uh, uh, entrepreneur, you know, uh, as an independent individual, you know, and I uh, I look for the joy and enthusiasm is it in it, but I, I could be I'm being very honest with you that I don't like a lot of these details that are involved. There's a lot of unnecessary red tape and or whatever that term means it's just a lot of interference it's a lot of interference and a lot of people don't do not realize they're just spinning garbage 
literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. And they refuse to come out of it because they because of fear. I think that's fear there. Then because they're going to be left with you know what what else can I do? You know, some people know that they're putting out garbage. They know that it's not reproducible. They know it, but they continue to push that rhetoric nonetheless. So you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. You're going to lose, in more cases, you're going to lose money more so than gain money until you get yourself out of that spin. As long as you stay in that spin, you're going to, and in more chances than not, or in more uh, situations than not, you're going to be losing money. You're not going to make any money. So a lot of people are going to get buried. They're going to get buried. So that's why you need to look at, okay, what is success means to you? What does it mean to have enough? What does it mean to have this? What it, you know, how do you neutralize your materialism? You know, what? how many cars do you need? How many houses do you need? How many this or that and the other? Okay, you decide. And no one has to know. So I just want to come on through on this Monday, you know, and let you know how I'm doing. I'm doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous, you know. And at the same time, I'm in I'm, I'm in a I'm in a discomfort zone, you know, where I need to uh, sit in front of a you know my computer, or order you know I I just need to do a little bit more research. I need to listen to what other ha other people have to say. Uh, like I said, some people um, are in denial about their services, their products and services, but that's that's for them to to figure that out, um, whether it's free or not. Okay, and that, and that and and that's not talking about me personally, but it's what I what I'm paying attention to and modern and, and monitoring. A lot of people are just spinning, 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 and they will not go anywhere. And we need to stop it if we choose to with this we got time bullshit. That is the most, um, oh, man. Um, I mean, we do not have time, okay? And we put time on things, okay? But it's about a timing, okay? This earth is not going to stop for any of us to get off. Okay, this earth is not going to stop to allow any of us to get off. And that's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay, things have been, you know, things just go. Evolution just, it, it goes. Evolution doesn't wait for anybody as well. Okay, development doesn't wait for anybody. Okay, things, you know, things, you know, our realities keep moving forward keep moving forward and so but a lot of people think that they can manipulate it you know and you know chances are they have but they don't understand energy they do not understand energy and they have this uh this delusion about how powerful they think they are or how intelligent they think they are or how all-knowing they think they are and this and that and it's just it, it's a spin so i say this to my silent partners who I, you know, I know that I have them all over the world. We all do, by, by the way. It's about, because we are energy. We're spiritual energy. We connect in that way. We just have to connect back. Um, just, um, you know, recognize where you are and be realistic about where you want to be and see how you can get yourself out of certain spins. You know, do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? You know, do I need to... Uh, you know, eat this way. Do I need to exercise this way? Do I need to blah blah? You know, just 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 think about it. See how it. Uh, see how you can bring joy and enthusiasm, and being honest with yourself. Am I enjoying this, or do I just need to pay my water bill? Am I enjoying this, or do I just need to pay my mortgage? You know, in other words, you're just in a spin, okay. And all you need to do is just change your thinking mode about it so that it can be more efficient for you and more closer to your dream you know whatever you want out of life and that means that you may have to 
you know, let go of stuff. People don't want to let go of this material, materialness of their lives. You know, that is what's holding them back along with the kind of people in their circle and people in their sphere. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send that on this Monday. Let me get back to, to what I need to do. You know, my schedule is, uh, you know, I have a busy schedule just like everyone else. But I want to make sure it's, it stays neutral. It stays uh, efficient and functional. You know, and, 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 it, and I know that I can see myself out of the spin. Okay? And I know it just takes steps. It takes steps. So change your thinking mode. Okay, Re realize certain certain philosophies, certain blueprints have expired and are no longer relevant to you. You are not your mother. Okay, you are not your father. And you are not your ancestors. We are descendants of our ancestors. Know the difference. I'm going to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I'll be back.